Hey everyone, we are officially in the best season of the year. My favorite season of the year and I'm sure everyone else's. So in today's lesson, what do I have for you? I've got phrases inspired by Christmas. Believe me, these phrases are really fun and you can use them almost any time of the year. Okay, so let's have a look at the first phrase. Now, as you can see, my screen has got some amazing snow flakes falling down, which normally happens during Christmas, right? Well, we have a phrase which says, be a snowflake. Now, even though snowflakes are very pretty, well, unfortunately, this idiom is not a very positive idiom in the sense that it's not used in a very positive manner. So what does it mean? It means that you are talking or referring to a person who is easily hurt and offended. So there are some people who are a little too sensitive and certain things that you may say can cause them a lot of harm. And that is why they are called a snowflake. And that's why it's not a compliment. But sometimes in a sentence you might say, you can call me a snowflake, but that wasn't a joke made in good taste. Okay, there are some people who make a joke and they think you shouldn't be offended and they call you a snowflake, which is really wrong. That's when you can say this sentence. Be my guest. Well, during Christmas, what happens? We have so many guests that come to our house. So we've got a nice expression, which basically means it's another way of saying help yourself or do whatever you want to do, do as you wish. So let's assume that someone's asking you, can I use this pen? Of course, be my guest. Can I use that cup? Of course, be my guest. Now, of course, the next expression has got the word Christmas in it. So it's obviously a Christmas expression. This expression goes, all Christmases have come together. Now, all Christmases have come together. What does that mean? Well, let's have a look. When you have a lot of good luck happening or experienced at one point of time. So let's say that a lot of good things have happened to you at one time. And Christmas is obviously supposed to be a season of good luck, a lot of good experiences. But when too many good things happen, well, that's when you can use this. So you could say, this month I got a promotion, I cleared my exam, and I'm going on vacation. Hmm, that's a lot, right? A lot of good experiences. So it feels like all my Christmases have come together. Okay, a lot of good things happening at the same time. Now, we all know that Christmas isn't complete without those jingle bells, right? Jingle bells, jingle bells, you know the song. Well, so therefore we have the expression which goes, be there with bells on. What does that exactly mean? Bells refer to happiness, right? And therefore, when you're saying you are going to be at some place with bells on, it shows that you are happy to go somewhere. In a sentence, you could say, if I get free tickets to the live match, I'll definitely be there with my bells on, which means I'm happy to go. I'm more than willing to go happily. All right, then let's have a look at the next one, which is bundle up. Now, during Christmas, it's supposed to be really cold because it's winter time in most countries at least and people kind of you know they cozy up in their blankets so what does bundle up really mean it means that you are you know staying warm and cozy because it's the winter season so you could say this weekend i am going to nicely bundle up and snooze around that's an ideal weekend for me okay so those of you how are you going to spend Christmas? Well, for me, I'm literally going to be bundled up because that's my best weekend. What's yours? Do let me know in the comments below. Get stuffed. Now, this Christmas expression really comes from turkeys. Okay, so turkeys are a very common food that people eat during Christmas and you actually stuff turkeys, 
with mashed potatoes, right? And that helps us eat a lot and have a lot of fun with the food. So keeping that in mind, our expression basically means to eat a lot, to overeat at some times. It's not a very good thing. So sometimes I tell people, don't get stuffed, don't overeat. On starters, you've still got the main course to follow. Okay, so there's a lot of food during Christmas, as you can see here. So don't, don't get stuffed, okay? Just give it, give it some time and we have some more food coming up. Calories don't count. Well, talking about food, what happens when you eat too much? Well, you gain a bit of calories, you put on some weight. But when I tell you that calories don't count, it's a way of me saying that you can eat without worrying about putting on weight. Wouldn't that be great if we did not have to count calories ever? Well, during Christmas, maybe you could. So you can say, I'm on vacation. I am on Christmas vacation. I'll have an extra slice of pizza. Why? Because calories do not count or don't count right now. Well, for those of you who want to just take it a little bit easy during Christmas, well, you don't have to worry because calories probably won't count for you right now. Be a Grinch. Now, I'm not sure if you all know about this character called the Grinch, but please read Christmas carols or watch the movie. The Grinch is a character that is very grumpy and hates people celebrating Christmas. Can you imagine people like that? Well, there are some people like that because being a Grinch means you are always grumpy and you cannot be happy when other people are happy. Okay? stay away from such people. In a sentence, I would say something like, most of his colleagues dislike him. They don't like him, why? He's a complete Grinch. He's never happy, he's always grumpy. Okay, don't be a Grinch during Christmas. Of course, after Christmas, well, after the holidays, what happens? There's something called as the holiday blues. Okay, now the color blue refers to a very sad mood, a mood where you're kind of regretting the good time, I mean, regretting the bad times. So, beating the holiday blues is to overcome the stress when you get back from holidays. So when we get back from holidays, we're very stressed. Why? Because we have so much of work pending. So when you get back from Christmas, you might have to beat the holiday blues. How do you use that in a sentence? Let's have a look. You could say, vacation is fun, but it's hard to beat the holiday blues on the day you resume work. How many of you agree with me, right? So maybe post Christmas and the new year, you might have to use this phrase a little more than you think, right? Well, these are the expressions and the amazing phrases that you can use for Christmas. But let me tell you, they are not limited only for the Christmas season. They are inspired by Christmas, but you can use them all year long. Okay, do tell me what are your favorite phrases and what do you intend to use for this Christmas season. I'll see you soon and make sure you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. This is me wishing you happy holidays. Take care.